It's a place many parents in Bellevue rely on. For the last 10 years, the Early Childhood Center has been a resource for children to learn, play, and socialize. But as came to the Action 3 News reporter Megan Matthews explains, it could shut its doors for good. Choo-choo, hello. <laughs> All right, wait out the window, say hi. Inside the walls of this building in Bellevue, there's more than just learning going on here. here Getting that wall up. Wendy Pratt comes to the Early Childhood Center once a week, sometimes twice, to let her kids, Asher and Audrey, roam free. They love to do crafts, sing songs, read books, just interact with other kids, and it gives me a chance to interact with other parents, too. Pratt says this place is like a second home to her family. That's why she's trying to save it. Me being a military mom, this has helped us transition to this area. It, it just has helped us get connected with our community, um, find out resources available to us, and just, you know, my kids love it. The Bellevue Public School District announced last week it needed to cut four and a half million dollars from its 2015-16 budget. The Welcome Center, Early Childhood Center, and Success Centers are the first on the chopping block. And when we had the impact aid dollars to, to pay for it, it was, a, like I said, a great service to provide for families. But um, as with most organizations, when uh, budgetary times get tighter, you have to um, you have to get stricter about the things that you're spending money on. The Board of Education decided to close them at the end of the school year. So what do we got to do? We got to fix it. But with a little faith and a lot of signatures. Pratt hopes her voice go, could help make a difference. I did it because uh, this place can't close. <laughs> because we, as a community, you know, as a member of Bellevue itself, as well as a military spouse, we need this place for our kids. Tony Clark signed Pratt's petition posted on change.org for his five-year-old girl, Anaya. It's amazing for me to have some, somewhere she can go to where she can interact with other kids that she doesn't know from anywhere and she wouldn't have that experience otherwise had to, if the center closes. That was Megan Matthews reporting. These cuts only total about $500,000. That means Bellevue Public Schools has to find a way to cut $4 million more. Superintendent Harwood says this is just the beginning.